craft everything. Hi everyone, it's the spunky one from And today we are designing button pins in Canva. At the end of the video, you'll see me unbox and attempt to use the HTV Runt button press machine. And I'll give you my honest opinion about that item and just know that whatever my opinion is, that this was not an ad, it was not a solicited purchase. I actually purchased it myself and these are my honest and unbiased opinions. Let's go. If you go inside of the Canva software and in the search bar you type button, it will give you the option to design your own round button. Now only the part that's inside of the circle will allow you to design and be seen on your actual button, so be very careful where you place things. Of course I'm using artwork that I have pre-purchased from an independent artist, so I'm just going to put the artwork where I'd like it to go inside the button. Just remember to keep your artwork inside of the circle to make sure that when you get ready to use your Cricut machine or your button cutter, that everything stays where it needs to for your final product. If you decide to put text inside of your button, just make sure that you put it in a place that's appropriate once the button press presses the actual design. You don't want to cut it off at the head when you attach the button. You'll see what I mean a little bit later. For this particular project, I would like to use the curve effect. So I'm going to click on the effects button for my text and I'm going to curve the text so that it appears round like on the button. I'm also gonna go in and use an outline in white. It is my favorite, so I love to do text just like that, but it's personal preference based off of how you feel. And each individual button can be designed differently. And of course, if you have a software that's different than Canva, you're welcome to use that too, such as a Photoshop or a Microsoft Word, if you have the ability to make it round or make your project round in that particular software. Canva is perfect for just about everything, so I love to use this software, and plus it's free for most services, so there you go. <laughs> Once you have all of the pieces to your project exactly where you'd like them to be inside of your button design, you'll go ahead and download the project to your computer. 
I like to add mine as a PNG since it makes it better and easier to upload to the Cricut Design Space software. You can also upload it as a JPEG or an SVG if you have that option. Once you get Design Space open on your computer, click the upload button in the left hand corner. Once it comes up, you'll click on the button that says upload image. It'll give you the option to go ahead and drag and drop if you have an iMac or a computer that allows you to do that. You can drag and drop the image that you've created inside of Design Space or you can go ahead and search your device and upload it directly into Cricut Design Space. Make sure you choose all of the options along the way as you upload it and keep the image intact as is. I like to select that it is a complex design even though I don't necessarily use that feature. Once you get everything uploaded, you'll go ahead and add this to the untitled project space and you're going to select the circle shape on the left hand side of the screen. Make sure that you size the circle exactly inside of your square box because remember, when you designed it, you designed it inside of the circle area. So when you slice it, it's going to show you exactly what your potential button is going to look like. Be very careful not to let your circle image overflow along the sides because you want to maintain a symmetrical circle. It's very important for your button. Once you have the images exactly the way you like them, you can head up to the middle of the screen and click the lock for the size of your project. For this particular one, I'm going to do a 2.5 by 2.5 since that is the size of the button press that I'm using today. This will vary based off of the type and size of button press you're opting to use because this is a HTV runt button press it only comes in one size at this time so 2.5 by 2.5 is the exact size I'd like I do like to maximize the use of my utensils so I'm going to put as many buttons as I possibly can on one page for this one I can fit six 2.5 by 2.5 buttons on my print and cut paper however if you are opting to use a different software it may be different for you when you go through this process Go ahead and print your project. You can either choose to use a bleed on the images or you can choose to leave it as is. For the material that you're going to select, make sure you select the type of paper that you're going to use. It looks like my buttons have come out of the printer. So if you have the button press with the button cutter, you can go ahead and use the button cutter if you opt to do that. But I have a Cricut machine, so I'd like Cricut to go ahead and do the hard work for me. Okay, you guys, this is the HTV Runt button maker machine. I ordered this directly from their website. Again, this is not a paid ad. I purchased this on my own and am interested in seeing how it works. The machine is supposed to be an affordable version of a button making machine. And as you open it up, you'll see that it comes with everything you need to get started including the shells for the project. You'll also get the backs with the metal pan part to create your button. And it looks like you get a ton of them. So you'll have plenty of material to mess up if you ever have to do any of that. This is the adjustable circle cutter that allows you to cut the um, button pieces in exact circles. It also comes with the transparent film, the stopper that goes inside of the button press, as well as some papers that are already cut that you can use for your device. And it also comes with some tools. I don't exactly know what those are for just yet. And dun -dun -dun -dun, it comes with the machine itself. Now please keep in mind that this machine only cuts one size button and it also comes with the instructions. Now I've learned through a little bit of research that you can purchase a button press that has multiple shapes and sizes. 
and uh, this particular one is just for one so I'm going to go ahead and attempt to use the button press. Make sure you double check to make sure that your transparent film is only one piece. I've noticed that they tend to get stuck together since they're cut at the same time and sometimes you have to wiggle them apart. Now in this situation I noticed that the when you rotate the press, your print starts to move. So I'm gonna take a double-sided piece of tape, just the itty bitty piece, and I'm going to attach it to the top of the shell. And then I'm going to put my print on top. Make sure that it's centered properly. You can tell because it's a little post that's directly in the center of the shell. That's exactly where you want the middle of your print to go. And then you'd attach the transparent shell directly on top and rotate the mold to the opposite side. Take the top handle and bring it down to the bottom handle. I like to hold it a little bit, but I don't think that's required. Once you let it up, you'll notice that your shell has disappeared. It does look like that might be strange, but that is actually the correct process. It should disappear. And then while you are in the process of um, checking that you can go ahead and grab your bottom shell make sure you put it squiggly side up and make sure the middle part of that pin is also on the post and then you bring that shell down again I like to hold it for a moment but I don't think that's required make sure you squeeze it as tight as you feel like you need to to make sure that it creates your pin and release it and rotate it back and you should have a completed pin this is mine. As you can tell, I have failed this project. I did it a few different times just to make sure it was nothing that I was doing wrong. I followed the instructions to a T. And I can honestly say that I've probably had two out of about 35 <laughs> to be completed properly. Um, I feel like so far it has wasted a lot of material and sometimes it tends to bend the shell when you put it inside. I've reached out to HTB Ront customer service to try to get a resolution and see how we can fix this. However, they told me their technical team is out on a Chinese festival until the 18th and they will not have a solution for me until then. So I feel like I'm just stuck with this machine until I can get a resolution. So far it has been a bust to me, but I'm trying to give customer service a fair shake to get this project um, completed. I do love the idea of the button making machine, but I kind of feel like a more expensive product would be more sufficient for me. In this case, I think it's kind of a you get what you pay for kind of thing. And I've seen lots of positive reviews on this particular project, or excuse me, this particular product, but I haven't experienced that. I feel like I have used more material that was sent than I actually got to Sale. Like I haven't had an opportunity to create very many successful buttons at all. So if you decide to purchase this, maybe you'll have better luck than I did. It could just be that I have a, um, a product that was defective. To be fair, they did ship it in a bag and not a box. So I'm pretty sure it got dinged around a lot as it was shipped through the carrier. I did uh, send them an email to let them know that I think they should take way more care of these type of products before they put them in the mail. But nonetheless, that is another project that has failed. And here is a bunch of all of the different buttons that I have tried that were all unsuccessful. Such a waste of material. So now in order for me to try again, I have to go and purchase more material which I have found out through htvrunt.com that they do not sell. I have to find other manufacturers to purchase the button making supplies from. I was able to make one or two buttons successfully, but for the most part, they all failed. So again, purchase this product at your own risk. Um, so far, I haven't had that great of an experience with customer service, but I will update you guys if I have successful products in the future. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.